Hey guys, so some of you have been familiar with the issues I've been having with a company called Warner Chappelle copyright claiming several of my videos, falsely copyright claiming several of my videos uh, using any Subrancha clips in them for music cues, Subrancha music cues, vague musical compositions without specifying exactly what they're claiming, uh, totally ignoring fair use. All my videos are fair use, I keep saying that over and over again. Warner Chappelle is not taking a hand and I'm really pissed off uh, for over a month now as they started harassing me with false copyright claims. I already made a few videos about that. So if the people who are not familiar with that, check out my previous videos. But the update is uh, they kind of calmed down for a while claiming my stuff. But a brand new video I just put up that barely has a few seconds of SPN clips in it. It's like a convention slash Subrancia clips video, my favorite kind of creative videos I make. They claim that right away. It didn't take them more than half an hour. So today I'll be doing a response video to a brand new video called YouTube's Corporate System is Broken by a channel called Mambo Jambo. So this nice looking guy, gaming channel, it was over 3 million subscribers, so a much bigger channel than mine. Just posted this video yesterday and it's already going viral over half a million views in one day. And he's getting harassed by Warner Chappelle too. So I thought just me at first, but apparently there's so many people. Uh, originally it was Star Wars Theory, big channel a few months ago and now and I and then myself uh, the other semi big channel which really is still much smaller than those channels but then Mambu Jambu channel just started getting harassed yesterday I received several comments from fans of his channel on my own video uh, exposing Warren Chappelle's BS and telling me you're not alone man uh, Mambu Jambu is also dealing with that issue honestly I didn't know about this channel before I got those comments I looked it up I watched a video and it's really it's heartbreaking to be honest because he's going through the exact same issue I'm going through and he has even much many more videos claims than mine. Yeah, and it's really frustrating. First of all, let me show you a screenshot of the brand new video I put up and they claimed it right away. Well, look at that. Uh, the video, what Jensen, Jared and Misha want to do after Supernatural ends, life after Supernatural. Literally just posted it about an hour ago from recording this video. Uh, not even half an hour into the upload, um, upload time of the video, I get this. Uh, Warren and Chappelle claimed your video, uh, monetizing your video, stealing my stealing my income pretty much from my hard work. Music composition manually detected. What is the music composition? What is it? I have few seconds of SPN clips in the video with my own royalty free music playing over it just in case this something like this happens. But of course they don't care. Uh, someone in the basement somewhere sitting down and hitting a claim button non-stop. They don't care, they just want to steal people's money. They did it with me, they did it with Star Wars Theory. You're doing it with this channel now, Mambu Jambu channel. So yeah, this will be a response. I'm gonna watch the video, comment on it, see what he's going through to show you that I'm not alone in this. This company is going rogue. They're completely ignoring fair use. By law, a company has to consider fair use before claiming videos or taking them down or whatever. By the way, they took one of my videos down already because I keep fighting their BS claims. And I emailed them everything. They're completely ignoring my emails, by the way. Uh, took one of my videos down. I'm fighting that right now, waiting for a response from them. Nothing. YouTube says in 10 days, if there's no response, my video will be back and they gave me a one copyright strike because that's what happens when the video is taken down. The strike will be resolved and my video will be back up and I will win that one video. But do I have to manually dispute every single claim they put on my videos? Seriously? I mean, over 30 videos now they claimed? It's ridiculous. I agree with Mambo Jumbo. YouTube's copyright system is broken and um, is made in favor of the claimant, even if they're making false claims, they're not punished for it. And uh, you know, you're pretty much guilty until you're proven innocent. That's not even a legal way of treating someone. But YouTube allows DMCA law abuse by corporate claimants, especially big companies like Warner Chappell, whatever, record labels was like, you know, a lot of artists, a lot of money, they just give them full control. And that's not fair. So let's watch the video and uh, talk about it. So I wasn't really planning on making this video today, but it definitely feels like it's worth doing because, yeah, I've had a bit of a strange situation occur on my YouTube channel and I've heard that a lot of YouTubers lately have been having similar issues. Yeah, right here. Uh, a lot of issues like that lately from the exact same company harassing multiple people. YouTube needs to do something about it. It needs to stop. So I woke up this morning to my phone going completely crazy with notifications and obviously I was a tiny bit confused as to what was happening so early on a Sunday morning um, and I looked at it and I had already received 31 emails 
from YouTube. Now they all said something along the lines of, Dear Mumbo Jumbo, your video with the title may have content that is owned or licensed by PEDL and Warner Chapel. So essentially it's a, it's a copyright claim against my video and I especially like in these emails that they say may. Uh, I mean that definitely is the operative word here because that that totally isn't the case. But clearly they were, yeah, they were, they were pretty certain that it was and um, the emails kept coming in. So it started off with 30 and then every, se every 10 seconds or so uh, a new one would come in and it's continued all throughout the morning and um, I'm sure it will continue throughout the day. So far they have copyright claimed just over 400 of my total catalogue of videos and currently we are sharing the revenue on them for absolutely no reason other than they have just said hey uh, I'm claiming this video and that's it and then they get a percentage of the revenue made from those videos and, you know I don't really yeah how freaking ridiculous is that you work hard on your videos you know you make creative videos for subscribers people love your videos you know people will subscribe to your channel for your content and some random music company just comes in and steals your hard work like someone like him and myself, I do it full time. This is my full time job. That's why I'm able to make videos pretty much every day for you guys. I work very hard on my videos. You know, I'm genuine about my videos. I put my heart and soul in them. They're all fair use. And I'm, I don't even watch this channel, but I'm pretty sure his videos are fair use too. I'm gonna play the rest of it, but I'm just telling you, those companies don't care about fair use. They pretty much break the law because by law, those companies have to consider fair use before claiming anything. But of course you don't care and that uh, you don't get punished by law and YouTube doesn't punish them or put penalties on them for putting all those false claims on those, all those channels so it's ridiculous I like talking about the mental side of YouTube I, I never really get into the details of that but I make no secret of the fact that this is my full-time job this is what I do for a living and it is very frustrating to wake up one morning and find that a big company has come in and just said hey I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a, a, a chunk of all the revenue that you've made from these videos um, until you dispute it. Which brings me on to the kind of big point that I want to make here, which is that YouTube's content ID system is is totally skewed towards the people who are making the claims. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, as I say, they were making claims a new claim every ten seconds or so. Same with me. Just firing them out, just in bulk. They were shooting them through to me, um, and yeah, within a couple hours, over four hundred videos have been claimed. It was a really quick process, and from what I've read, it all seems to be totally automated. So there's no one involved. It's just an automated system. It's matching up content that they find, and they just they put a claim on it um, without really doing any research or looking into it. I don't think it's automated because YouTube literally says it's the manual claim. I think he got the same thing. And uh, no, it's someone just sitting there with a claim button, just keep clicking, keep clicking claim, 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 without even looking at the video, watching it, probably just like skimming through it. Oh, I heard something, so let's click. Maybe the system detects some music or whatever, but the person claiming, they don't care. They don't look at the video. They just claim it unfairly. They don't care about fair use. They don't even consider fair use. They just want to steal money from creators like myself and like Mambo Jumbo. So, yeah, it's obviously not fair and uh, literally stealing is what it is. And as the creator, that's incredibly frustrating because the reason they're claiming is because of the songs that I use for my intros and outros. They're made by an artist called Proletter. He's a person that I have a good relationship with and I have a written agreement with Proletter that says I can use his songs in my video. So I am totally licensed to use them but I'm in a guilty until proven innocent situation right here where now I have to prove my innocence until then I'm being punished, which is just, it's bizarre. Yep, yeah, in his case, he has an intro music or whatever where he got permission from the artist to use an intro song. A uh, letter from his Twitter, I, I've, I, read, I read some of his tweets, uh, turns out to be much more complicated than that. The artist who gave him permission, there's a sample in that intro song that he doesn't own apparently, and Warner Chappelle owns, and they're harassing Mambo Jumbo about it. And um, it's really like a very complex situation he got going on. Even with the permission, they still own the sample in that intro. So for him, it's really complicated. For me, it's not even about permission or anything, it's about fair use. 
I have like a supernatural clip, whatever, in my video, right? I'm making a top 10 list, make a convention slash SPN clips, uh, you know, in the video, which is my favorite kind of juxtaposition, mashup video, whatever you want to call it. it. It falls under fair use. YouTube has it under fair use in their fair use page remix format. So I am covered by law of fair use. So whatever supernatural clip has music from supernatural, normal C music, not even a song, there's no songs in my videos. They claim normal C music, apparently. They don't tell me what they claim, I'm just guessing here. So let's say they're claiming C music, that's still freaking fair use. You're not supposed to just claim that just because it has a few seconds of freaking background C music or whatever. They don't care. And for him, um, in his case, even with the permission, they don't care. Oh yeah, there's a sample in your intro that is not licensed, so we can't claim your entire video or even take a percentage of it, whatever. Which what they're doing with me as well. Obviously not fair. They're not considering fair use, blah, blah, blah. I'm repeating myself here, but you guys get the point. They're just stealing creators' hard work. They're not supposed to be able to do that, but they're doing it anyway, and it's not fair. Now, the method for disputing these things isn't exactly easy either. Uh, the whole process tends to take between one to two minutes, and, I mean, that adds up. I mean, 400 disputes that I now have to do today uh, means it's going to take 800 minutes, which you can do the math on that one. That's... Uh, yeah, around about 12 hours. So it's, it's a lot of disputing that I've got to do. Um, and the worst part is, is that the wording that YouTube uses when it comes to disputing things is incredibly strong. So when you file a dispute to YouTube, they essentially say, by the way, if this dispute is found to be incorrect, you're actually disputing incorrectly, then we will take down your video, we will issue you with a copyright strike, and you only get three strikes on your channel before the whole channel gets removed. So essentially they're threatening you, saying, look, you best make sure that this dispute is correct, because otherwise uh, we're going to remove you from YouTube. Yeah, that's pretty much how YouTube works. Uh, you get three strikes or more, your whole channel is terminated, even if you're in the right. Even if the claimant is making BS claims, you're still under the threat of like some BS like that leading to your whole channel, your hard work over the years being terminated and your subscribers be left with nothing pretty much and you'll be left with nothing. All your hard work gone because some BS company is sending you BS claims, takedowns, whatever. And right now I have one copyright strike because I fought one of the claims to like the step where you counter claim, counter notification, their takedown, took down all of my videos, gave me one strike. I'm currently finding that. I have about 10 days till I see what's gonna happen. No response from them yet. If they don't respond, YouTube restores my video and the strike is gone, so I win this one. But I, I just have to do one by one over 30 videos, this whole step where it takes forever, it takes forever to get to like a resolution of one video, let alone 30 or more videos. In this case, he has 400 or more videos claimed, so imagine how long it will take him. I mean, how long is it gonna take me, but how long is it gonna take this guy to get his issue resolved, right? Totally ridiculous. That's, that's fine, I guess, um, but there are two problems with that. Number one, when you get 400 claims made at you and it only takes three to get you banned, uh, that definitely makes you a little bit nervous. But also, the most important thing is, is that these false claims that come in, these claims that have absolutely no grounding whatsoever, they're just automated, they get shot in, there's no repercussions to the claimants when they make a false claim. It's a big issue. There's nothing. So they just kind of, they just go, oh, sorry, yeah, we made a mistake. We, yeah, I mean, I guess you're right. I guess it is yours. Don't worry about it. We'll move on. Um, when the, That's just, there, there should be some form of repercussions for the fact that a company has just levied 400 claims onto a YouTube channel, blanket across the board. If they've messed up all of those claims, I mean, surely there's there's something wrong there. And the other big... This literally stealing money from creators and they're just casually doing it. YouTube's letting them do it without any form of repercussions on them. So YouTube, if you're watching or listening to this, please do something about it. You can't just let whatever claim and claim whatever they want without any concrete proof or evidence or any fair process going on. So please make it a fair process for both, the creator and the claimant, not just one side. The big issue with the dispute process is that when you actually file a dispute, 
it takes them 30 days to respond. So they, they, they have up to 30 days to actually get back to you and say that, oh, actually, no, yeah, this is, this is totally yours. So not only is that stressful, you kind of don't know where you sit, but also the money that is generated by that video doesn't go to anyone. It just kind of sits in a pot in the middle. It's just, just it's, not, it's not fair more than anything. Um, I don't really know what to say on the matter. I, I'm just I'm frustrated because I've heard all about this. I've never really, I've never faced it before personally, so this is my first experience kind of battling the content ID system and it's a nightmare. Um, I have faced it before by other companies and I've won all my disputes on the grounds of fair use. So I know what I'm doing. I trust my content. I have confidence in my work. And yet Warren and Chappelle has just been continue to harass me and they deny my disputes and they take forever to get anything done through YouTube as far as responding to YouTube. They're to totally ignoring my emails by the way. No response whatsoever. So that tells you, that shows you what kind of company it is. They're just ignoring uh, any kind of peaceful resolution, any kind of logic, reasoning. No, they just keep claiming, 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 uh, rejecting disputes. Um, they just don't care. All they care about is money, apparently. Um, and the worst thing is, is that YouTube definitely feel, it feels like YouTube wants to sweep it under the rug. Obviously, I've tweeted about it all morning. I wasn't really planning on making this video, but I didn't really get any answers from anyone. Um, partly maybe because it's a Sunday morning. Maybe that's why Warner Chapel have done it on a Sunday morning, because they know that I can't really do anything about it until Monday. So they'll kind of reap their rewards over the weekend. But yeah, it just feels like YouTube don't want to comment on the issue. They don't want to... They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to. They don't want to even acknowledge it. Team YouTube, who is the kind of support team on Twitter, were responding to a ton of people all morning, and my tweet got absolutely no attention, despite the fact that it currently has over three thousand retweets. So clearly, I mean, someone at YouTube must have noticed by now. You know, it's just it's it's disappointing. As someone who's been creating content on YouTube for over seven years now. Um, I, I mean, obviously we all know that YouTube is a business and they have to keep the big companies happy and they have to keep the, uh, the advertisers happy, but it just become, in situations like this, it starts to become very blatant that actually things are definitely skewed towards those and it feels like the, the smaller creators or the, the single content creators, the people who don't have massive teams of lawyers behind and things like that, are kind of the ones that get pushed and shoved around a little bit. Um, yeah, this channel has over 3 million subscribers. Like, like my channel is considered a small channel in comparison. I have almost 260k subscribers. Again, that's like, it's a nice following. I love it and all, but it's like, it's nothing compared to over 3 million. So you saw how he was talking about his tweet getting over 3,000 retweets and, uh, you know, thousands of likes and all of that. And YouTube wasn't even responding to him. I posted a tweet on my little Twitter it was like, you know, 100 followers, whatever. and. YouTube did respond, but they didn't give me anything. They just told me like, oh, you just disputed on your own. Uh, we don't interfere with that, you know. It's, you know, they really don't care. I mean, someone like him would pretty much, uh, from what, when the tweets I read about him from Mambo Zambo, he reached someone on YouTube and they're currently working on resolving it. So obviously he has much more reach than me. So someone like me or even a smaller channel, think channels like 5,000 subscribers or less, what are they gonna do? If someone like me can't do anything and someone like him is struggling with an issue like that. Totally unfair and um, YouTube needs to do something about it once again. Mm. So yeah, I don't, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I guess I'm going to start manually filing disputes and start actually kind of writing out a response to every single copyright claim that comes in saying something along the lines of I do actually have written permission for this and this claim is not true and then I have to sign off everything then send off all my details and all that I guess I've got to do that for every single claim that comes in and that's if it only stays at 400 um, there is every chance that it is going to continue and wipe its way through my entire catalogue of videos because pretty much all of my videos that I've made in the past six years have got the songs in it that that Warner Chapel take such issue with me using. So, um, yeah, not the best, not the best situation. I will put Warner Chapel's details down in the description if you want to let them know about this situation. Um, I will also, I'll, I'll include links to screenshots and the tweets that I posted so that you can retweet them and share those around because that would be massively beneficial. Um, but anyway, I thank you, thank you for watching. Thanks for all your support. Hopefully, we can get all of this resolved. And um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. All right, so that was the video, guys. Again, um, another much bigger channel is going through the same thing I've been going through for over a month now. 
by the same company, Warner Chappelle, abusing the DMC process, the copyright system on YouTube. YouTube's not doing anything about it. They're not giving them penalties for filing all those false claims. Simply to take money from creators who put in the hard work in their videos, uh, like myself and Mambo Jumbo and other channels like Star Wars Theory was, you know, a couple of months ago. He got his resolve, but now we have my channel and we have Mambo Jumbo's channel. So, yeah, honestly, Warner Chappelle, you need to stop what you're doing. It's not fair, it's not even legal. By law, you have to consider fair use before you claim videos. You can't just, you know, wholesale claim everything you want without considering the context of the video. And YouTube, please do something about it. Put some penalties on false claims by, by claimants like Warner Chappelle. You can't just let anyone claim whatever they want without any kind of fair process going on. Fair to creators too, you know, be fair to creators too, not just a claimant. This, this system has to change and uh, yeah, I hope someone is listening. And I'm gonna put links down, to, again, the tweets I put out to YouTube on Warner Chappelle down below in the description and uh, links to Warner Chappelle as well. So if you wanna tell them something, let them know what they're doing is not right. And uh, yeah, guys, I've been grinding out the videos in the past pretty much forever. I haven't stopped during all the issues I've been having over the last few months. As you see, every day, one, at least one video a day. And uh, while I'm dealing with all those issues behind the scenes with Warner Chappelle, BS claims and all of that, so it's been really stressful. Honestly, not a, not a good mood for making any work or doing any videos or whatever, so... Yeah, I just want to do what I love, make videos about my favorite show, Supernatural, you know. And uh, that's all I want to do. I, wanna, I don't like making those kinds of videos, so... I hope I don't have to make those videos again, and I hope Warner Chappelle backs off and stops harassing me and harassing other YouTubers like Mambo Jumbo. And yeah, um, you guys, you know, can help by retweeting and sending messages and all of that. I'm gonna leave links down below in the description, like I said. And yeah, again, I hope I don't have to make videos like that again. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for your support always. Till the next time, hopefully, no chick flick moments. Keep fighting.